Oh, yeah, that's right, y'all. It is Morning Shift, CHUO 89.1 FM. I go by the name of Dynamic, a.k.a. your favorite light skin, holding it down for the Morning Shift crew, your source for hip-hop and R&B in the morning, the number one hip-hop and R&B show in the Ottawa Gatineau area. And right now, we are chopping it up with somebody who really represents the hip-hop culture in a major way. He is a Toronto-based, Scarborough-born and raised engineer, producer, does it all with family roots running generations back to the East Coast along Micmac, Inu, and Biotech lines. In addition to his work with Drake, he is known for producing songs for legends like Redman, Method Man, Pete Rock, and Canadian icons like Julie Black, Chaos, and Jellystone. We have the one and only David Strickland here on The Morning Shift. Welcome to the show. Hey, what's up, man? So let's talk about this latest album, you know, the new album that you just dropped, Spirit of Hip Hop. What's it all about? Um, it's about, um, you know, kind of mostly it's about my journey. Um, it's a journey I've been taking uh, while I was creating the album, but it's kind of like um, I'm trying to bridge the gaps and you know the, originally the concept was was just indigenous but I realized while making it that a lot of us you know we're all indigenous and as black people and um, you know indigenous people from Turtle Island we were all indigenous and I just wanted to make something that brought us together you know before all this stuff was happening you know because it's been happening um, they just got a magnifying glass on it maybe right now but you know yeah I wanted to do something different and how did the whole process happen was it just reaching out to the special guests that you wanted on the project or you had a close relationship with most of them already? Well, a lot of people on the record I either uh, worked with from time or wanted to work with. Some people was the first time we worked together. Um, so there was a little bit of both. It was very organic. I did not try not to make things be forced. Um, and a lot of times um, it was, um, it was um, special, so I mean, I'm very thankful that it worked out the way it did, you know? You worked with Ottawa artists like Aspects. How did that connection happen? Um, that happened actually because I was doing... Uh, that actually was a good time. I met Aspects in Ottawa. I think it was the... You're going to have to correct me if I'm wrong. The the event, the spray paint. It was the graffiti event they have. In the, House of Paint? Yes, House of Paint. So EPMD was headlining that. So Dreesus was in town with me. I think we were working on some music and he was probably doing something else so um you know him and i he, he asked me to dj his set at house of paint so we jumped in my truck and we drove and that's when i met aspects who's a good friend of his so we did you know i did the set for um for Dreesus, but it was a fun night because you know my big brother's epmd were performing so i got to go because when it's emp i could just go on stage so I had a good time because I got to just do what I want that night. So it was, it was, that was the first night I met Aspects. But we've been good friends since, and we've been doing lots of music together. I talk to him almost every day. I go out to Ottawa to visit him, and I have family out there as well. So, I mean, shout out to Aspects and Tino for all the love. Now, you got a show that you're doing right now, and your next guest is the legendary producer Rock Wilder. How excited are you for that interview? I'm excited for every interview, but you know, I talk to Rock almost every day anyway. We're crew, but um, I think it's good for other people. I'm excited for everybody else because a lot more people are excited. Um, you know, I'm excited, you know, because it's going to be a good show. Um, I'm excited for the fans. Um, Rock is a really good dude, and um, you know, if you check out his legacy, it's unbelievable. So I'm very blessed and thankful that. I cannot even have him on the show like that, you know what I'm saying? Why did you decide to come up with the David Strickland show? I thought it would be a good way to promote the album and, you know, maybe it could turn into a thing because, I mean, it doesn't have to be just about music. Um, we talk about other things and, you know, perhaps this could go in another direction. Now, your Turtle Island track, we've been playing it like crazy here on CHUO 89.1 FM. It's a dope record. You got a whole slew of artists on the record. How did that record come about? That record was a slow build. Um, it started with Q Rock, I believe, and then I kind of had a vision that style I've been wanting to do for a while and I didn't really have a reason. And when Jordan came into it, he kind of molded the song a bit and, um, you know, uh, Boogie the Beat, shout out to Boogie the Beat in Winnipeg. He came in with me and we, you know, he he did some co-production on there, but that, that song is like so powerful because there's so many people from so many different places, you know, just doing that video is such a challenge, but it brings, brings together a lot of unity in that regard, you know, like, um, you have people from different places and different experiences and you know it was just it came out really beautiful so I'm very happy the way that turned out but you know it was it was all love all right well let's get into that record right now here Turtle Island here on CHUO 89.1 FM.